Okay, how can you get drunk? When you eat or drink anything, most of the nutrients pass through your small intestine lining into the bloodstream. Now, your small intestine has uh, capillaries, which are the tiniest blood vessels wrapped all around it. They're long little tubes, essentially. And the capillary walls are made up of endothelial cells. Now, there are spaces between the endothelial cells, and so uh, nutrients um, can pass into the bloodstream that way, into the capillaries. Now, the, the spaces are small enough that things like blood cells won't fall out of the capillaries. Once the nutrients are in the bloodstream, then they can circulate throughout it and make their way to the brain. Now, in the brain, however, capillaries are different. Uh, the endothelial cells are packed much more tightly together in the brain, so there aren't spaces between them, and nutrients can't get through those spaces. Now, uh, there are a handful of things, like alcohol, which is special, which can pass through the endothelial cells into the brain tissue. Once in the brain tissue, alcohol activates GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid, which is uh, the most prevalent inhibitory neurotransmitter. So GABA inhibits neural activity. Now, ironically, uh, when you have just a little bit of alcohol, it can act as a stimulant because it, it stimulating effects. That is because it can inhibit inhibitory processes. When you have more alcohol, though, essentially, essentially, you're just shutting down the brain little by little. So how can you get drunk by drinking alcohol?